Hi mga kapagetarian! Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very exciting episode because today we are going to review my YSL oh. flashback! Hi mga kapagetarian! Ron Ramiro here, Sookin Budgetarian Fashionista. I vlog about fashion, shopping, luxury bags and accessories, travel, lifestyle. If you like any of these content, I'm inviting you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and give me the thumbs up for more videos like this. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify for daily updates coming from me. Alright, so let us begin our unboxing slash review of my um, YSL bag. So, here it is. Yay! So, this is the box that it came with when I purchased my um, YSL flush bag. So just a short story, so I got this one at um, 158 Designers Boulevard. So I have mentioned that place a um, couple of times with my previous vlog. So hopefully um, if you have time, you could check it out because they do have great, 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 as in great selection guys, especially if they have huge, huge sale. So again, um, I am not really sure why I didn't or where is the paper bag of this one because um, this um, YSL bag has been with me for a couple of years now. Later, I'm going to reveal because um, I'm not good with dates, but the receipt and all the product codes, etc., are inside this box. So here it is. So just to show you, so it comes with this very, very beautiful black um, box by. Salerlot Paris, so it's just you know a tiny thin box and you could hear um, You know how much I love you know good packaging of luxury bags That's why I love collecting you know aside from the bags, but also their boxes so front back sideways So now let's open in three two one Yay! Okay, carefully. <laughs> so there so he this is the Block a uh, block, black dust bag of the um, bag. So before we open, uh, uh, no, let's do a quick check first. Let's open in three, two, one. Yay! How do you like it, guys? So how do you like it, guys? Um, it's a red YSL or Saint clutch bag. So before we go further and discuss um, this very, very cute and um, cute little red bag, let's go first and check what, you know, um, the care cards and stuff because I'm really, really curious as to when I again purchased this bag because I already forgot. So again, this is the dust bag. Um, this is a different dust bag because, norm as you know, normally the dust bags of luxury bags um, comes in white color so I love 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 the dust bag that it came with because oh wow this is the first time that I'm seeing the inside of the dust bag of Saint Laurent because it also has the there's a code or there's a tag of wait it's not focusing there so as you can see even the dust bag because um, on, on the wrong side of the dust bag it's white but the right side this one so it's color black so i love the dust bag you know that i always keep the um, my luxury bag inside their dust bag and like what i mentioned this is the first bag in my luxury collection well because it's because i don't have a chanel yet so tolerant thank you for this one so now let's move on to the care cards and the receipt first before we move on to the bag so, like what I've mentioned with my previous vlog, I keep everything, the receipts, the leather swatches, and the care cards inside the bags or in the boxes so that whenever I'm going to, you know, check like what's going on or how much I purchased them, everything would be, you know, in one place. So, this is the receipt. So, let's start with the receipt first. So, this one, it comes, of course, with the swatch. So, I'm not really sure of the leather, but I'm sure with the um, one of the cards it would um, show or it would describe what the leather is. So, this is the leather swatch. It comes also well packaged on this one. Then, I like what I mentioned, I got this one at 158 Designers Boulevard. So, you would see the receipt. They are called, their group is the, F, there, the Source Specialist Inc. 
and the price of this one is oh wow I got it on sale so the original price is 36,500 there so hopefully you saw that so I got it on sale yay and the date that I got this is February 6, 2016 at exactly 3.07 p.m. So 2016, 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21. Wow! So happy 5th year for my YSL. So this bag has been with me for 5 years now. Right? So 5 years. So it's really, really nice to go back. So aside from the receipt, so that's uh, February 2016. So we have this one. So it's still sealed. I'm not really sure if I open it way back, so as you can see, it's still stick there. Um, okay, let's open. So, okay, alright. So, it comes with this black envelope there. Then it comes with the, what are these? Oh, here's the price that I got it there 36,500 then there's the made in Italy there then it comes with the code that's the code YSL clutch monogram so that is the name of the bag that um, there I'm not really sure it's in French so we have the care card so this is the care card so you know it's there. Care cards and stuff. And then, what's this? Oh! Oh! I, they have this card of authenticity. Honestly guys, um, I never inspected this before because I'm pretty sure this is authentic because I got it from the actual YSL store. So there is a... Oh, why is it not focusing? So there is an authenticity card for this YSL bag. Alright, so let's discuss um, the YSL monogram clutch bag. So this is the bag. I believe the material is calfskin or either calfskin or lambskin because it's very, very soft. It's one of the softer, you know, much leather bags that I have. Um, it comes also with a wristlet or, you know, there's a D-ring here on the side. So you could attach this one. That's why I got this one. It's not just, you know, a simply clutch bag. So that like, for example, during parties. So it's either, so this is the size. Let me just stand here. So I stand at 5'6". So if I go a little bit further, this is, you know, how you could carry it as a clutch. I love it. It's very minimal, um, minimal bag. Um, but you know, um, I love the monogram. Then it comes with the wrist. So like, for example, um, whenever I'm carrying this during party, so if I have drinks or if I if I have my phone texting, so I could put it here, and then my hands would be free to do anything. So that is, you know. Um, also, I believe, like for example, you could use this. Maybe I'm not even sure if you could call it like a catch-all. Like if you have a large tote bag, so you could put it inside and put every, you know. All the important things, like for example, your wallet, etc., inside, and then put this inside a large tote bag. So, again, this is the YSM monogram clutch. This is the front. So, I love the um, gold hardware. It's very shiny, it really looks luxurious. Um, this is the zipper. So, with the zipper, um, it's also gold. It's engraved. It has an engraved of um, Saint Laurent. Um, also the hardware on the side so this is the side so it's not really you know because it's just a clutch bag so it's not you know really really thick where you could carry a lot of stuff this is the top part the bottom part so um with this one with the zipper of this clutch bag i don't have any any um any any, any i don't have any issues at all because the zipper, you know, glides very smoothly there. So this is the, so it, I always 
um, you know, include the tissue paper inside so it would not be deformed. So this is the inside of the bag. So, you know, it's just a huge black hole. So unfortunately, we cannot see. Um, this is the um, logo inside. And we cannot see it here because it's color black. And I cannot um, put it. But there is um, here at the front side, there's another... Um, like a stack or a piece of leather that I could touch it. It comes with the... Maybe I'll try to take a photo and I'm going to put a photo here. There is the serial number. Um, the lining of the bag, it's not lined with leather. It is lined with, I believe, just fabric canvas. But it's nice, it's easy to clean, and it's very, very spacious inside. So that is now my... YSL monogram clutch bag. Alright, so you know mga kabadyotar, and every time or before I buy any luxury bags, I have to double check what fits inside because of course if it wouldn't fit, fit anything, then it would defeat the purpose of why I would be getting that bag. So now, let's see what could fit in this very cute and small tiny bag. So let's open it. So of course, um, first need, uh, very very important would be your phone. So this is an iPhone 6S Plus. So it would fit, so as you can see, so this is iPhone Plus, so it doesn't have any issue going inside. Then of course, um, if I'm carrying this, I wouldn't be carrying my regular dad bulky wallet, but instead, I would be carrying my YSL, oh sorry, my YSL card holder. There, I'm sorry, it's not focusing, let me focus it for you guys. There, the YSL card holder, so it would fit without any issue. Then, I also have another YSL pouch. So, for example, you could put in your, you know, I don't know, I'm sure your face mask or tissue or anything. So, it would fit there. Still, it has more space. Then, my essentials, definitely. So, for touch-ups, I would need to have my BB cream. So of course, whenever I'm carrying small bags, I would not fit, at, you know, it, you know, all of the things, just the essentials. Um, this one would be my oil control film, very very important. Um, then of course my lip gloss, and then my lip color. What else do I need? Of course, um, the keys but unfortunately, I don't have it with me. Then it's always summer here in the Philippines. I need my foldable fan. So what else? So there, so I was able to fit everything inside. I believe these are the essentials. Normally, um, since we are you know, in pandemic time, um, with the alcohol or sanitizer, I don't normally put it inside my luxury bag, bag sorry, my luxury ba bag because I'm scared that it would spill over and it would damage the leather bag. So I would normally, I would be carrying my hand sanitizer or alcohol inside my pocket. So as you can see, it's still very spacious, so there's no issue closing the zipper. And yes, um, the size now of the bags, as you can see, so um, it, you know, there's um, a little bit of bump, but it's not, you know, it doesn't bother me as much there. So it fits most of the essentials that I need. Yay! Alright, so the next is I would like to share some styling tips on how you could restyle your YSL monogram clutch because currently, um, unfortunately, this bag, because of course, I purchased this one 2016. Um, as you know, currently right now, I have a checklist that um, needs to satisfy before I would be making a purchase of a luxury bag. So number one is, of course, the style. And number two would be, of course, the um, the price or the budget. Number three is if it would fit my essentials. And number four, um, the functionality of the bag. So the functionality, I love the bag. So aside from being able to carry the stuff or the essentials that I need, it would be a plus. Like for example, um, the bag would have a top handle so I could carry it on my hand. Then definitely, I would love to have or the bag 
I would love the bag to have a provision for a shoulder strap. As you would notice with the previous reviews that I have, most of the bags that I own have a provision for a um, a, uh, a shoulder strap. Unfortunately for this bag, it only has one D-ring on the side, so you cannot carry it as a shoulder strap. So this is the first time that I will be doing this to be styling my YSL because to be honest, um, I would want to be able to bring this with me as much as I can so I could ROI um, what I paid for for this one. Um, hopefully, it would work, right? Even though it doesn't have the um, another set of bearing on the side so I could, you know, attach a shoulder, a shoulder strap and would be able to carry it as a shoulder bag. So, um, with me, I have two straps with um, from my other bag. So first one, I have my guitar strap from a Fendi bag. So as you can see there. So I love it that the hardware is also in gold hardware. So it would be perfect for the gold color of the monogram bag. I don't. Ha and then the next um, shoulder strap is a silver chain strap. So I don't have any gold. Um, chain strap yet because I'm still looking for one so I will try this one first so I love it um this silver strap I love the clasp so it's lobster clasp I love the finish of this one it's very very shiny although um, I bought this one only at Shopee and it's not very expensive but the look and feel of this strap is very expensive so I'm going to try and check whether I would be able to transform this back so first let us try the Fendi strap so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the wristlet attachment first. And of course now we have a free one D ring in where in we could attach. Hopefully it would fit. I'm not really sure because the D ring is very small. So I'm now attaching. Well, if it would not fit, um, I've seen already at Shopee or you know maybe other online shopping sites where in you could. Okay, unfortunately, there, there is a problem with me. There, so what I did was, it doesn't fit the D-ring, but I was able to make another adjustment. So as you can see, so let me try to focus on this one for you guys. There, so I attached one, you know, um, lobster class at the D-ring, and the other one I attached it to Fendi's, um, gloves or class because it doesn't you know because the size of the D ring is very very small so now it's now bigger and i could carry it as a shoulder strap so let's see some mod shot mod shots if it would work so what do you think guys how would you rate this one if for example you are able to carry or maybe crossbody is a little bit short because this fendi strap is a little bit short so I'm unable to put it inside my head there. So this is the first style. How do you like it? Now looking at it and carrying it like this, I think it's okay, yeah. I don't have any issues. So like for example, this would be a new style. Maybe I could buy another strap with the length of this one because I've seen another one a chunky gold chain strap that resembles Bottega Veneta um, chain strap. Perhaps I could buy that one so I could attach to this and it would look like this whenever I'm carrying my YSL bag. So what do you guys think? Alright, let's do the second attachment using the silver chain strap. So let's just imagine this is in gold. So if this would work, definitely I would buy, you know, a long gold chain strap for my YSL bag. So now I am attaching the two lobster clasps in the D-ring, in the one D-ring, and let's just check how it would look. There's a good thing, the lobster clasp. So let me just um, focus it for you guys. So the two lobster class is, you know, the size is very, very small, which is good for the one B ring. So it fits versus the um, the Fendi strap, which it doesn't. Um, just one class fits on the B ring. So now I'm going to stand up and see. So now you could carry it, of course. So I'm going further back. You could carry it like this, although it's a little bit long. But since the strap now is much longer, now you could carry it as a crossbody. So what do you think, guys? 
as a crossbody. I love it, right? You think? And for example, so you have your stuff here. So all you need to do is just, you know, um, open it. Like for example, you're putting in your phone. So yeah, I love it. Right? Yeah, I think this works. I think I would be able to carry my YSL monogram clutch this way. So um, I was so a while ago. So I was checking on this zip zipper. So let me just remove this one. So I was checking here on the zipper part. So as you can see, oh, the sorry. Let me focus it. So as you can see, there is a hole. So I was thinking of another method. Wait, look, it's not focusing. So I was thinking of another way wherein we could carry this one so let me just remove one lobster clasp and i'm going to attach it to the hole of the zipper and it fits and now yay oh my god so now it's fully transformed this is so exciting what do you think guys yay i think this is the best styling you know, um, tip for the YSL monogram clutch. Although the issue now is um, this way, for you to be able to wear your bag this way, the zipper is open. So let me try to close it. Closing it so it would be like this. But you know, there are some bags, like for example, um, the Louis Vuitton Petit Sac Black, where it's just open, or the, the Sac de Jour. It doesn't have any closure, right? The YSL sack the drawer. So it's also open. So I think it won't have any issue. Just carry maybe, you know, another like like a pouch, like maybe this YSL pouch that I have. So it has a closure, like for example, so you could put it in here. So you won't have any fear of losing stuff or maybe order anything from Zamorga where it would have, you know, an insert that has a zipper. I like it this way, guys. What do you think? So this one is a lot better, right? I love it. So I think I'm going, do you think I should order? I think I, after this, um, filming this vlog video, I'm going to order a gold chain strap because now I can use my YSL bag. Oh my God, right? So good, yay. All right, mga budgetarian. Actually, I'm very, very happy um, with this vlog episode because of the styling tips that we did you know an improv styling tip that we just did the the third one um that was the that was actually the first time i tried that one in as you can see on my reaction it got me really really excited because to be honest um before this vlog i'm actually thinking really hard if i should you know be keeping this bag or would be letting go of this one because um i've only you know like what i've mentioned i got this one year 2016 it's been with me five years as you can see it's in like brand new or pristine condition um i haven't carried this as much as i wanted to it's because um the way i wanted to carry my bags would be number one for it to have a shoulder strap so i was really really you know before filming this i'm really really thinking should i let this go should i put this on my instagram account but now with the third styling tip that we just did i feel that i would be keeping this bag now you know i would see so um after this definitely i'm going to order you know a gold chain strap so i could use this one on my next time i'll be going out yay so definitely i believe um this um ysl monogram clutch bag is still available at your local ysl store i believe it will still be available at ysl.com so um if i'm going to rate this one out of 10 so if you know um you like me you have the same issues definitely um i would rate it i would say around 7 over 10 um, but since I was able to attach, you know, the um, the strap and you know be able to carry this as a shoulder bag, then definitely um, I would still be recommending for you guys to be purchasing this one. There, yay! Hope you like our YSL bag review. So there, mga kabajutarin. Hopefully you like our um, YSL bag review. Um, if you have comments or suggestion, I would love to hear you out. So just comment down below. And I would also like to say thank you to Miss Shelly. I'm going to post your um, comment here. 
Thank you, thank you so much, Miss Shelly. I'm such a huge fan. I always love watching your vlog videos. And thank you for watching and leaving this wonderful comment. Alright, mga kabajetarian, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and give me the thumbs up for more videos like this. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you are going to get daily updates coming from me. Alright mga kabadgetarian, again, super, super, super thank you for staying with me in this new vlog episode. Um, I will see you guys on the next episode. Please do stay safe and healthy always. I will see you. Bye!